Do 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 do. All right. Continuing Therion's chapter two. Continue the tale of Therion. After successfully infiltrating Ravis Manor, Therion was confronted by the butler Heathcote, who ensnared him with the fooled bangle. Now he begrudgingly ventures forth to find the three dragonstones, lost treasures of House Ravis, at the behest of their owner, Lady Cordelia, that he might have his mark of shame removed. So he arrives in this town, where rumor has it the ruby dragonstone resides. As for who holds it, none can say. Thus, Therion's search begins. Now then. Scholar in noble court. Thanks, Heathcote. Those are like a leaf a dozen here. Need something more to go on that. I'm glad it's on the outskirts. I avoid it if I can. Hi. That creepy old mansion in the northwest part of town? I heard something actually lives there. Ooh. A man named Orlick. They said he's some kind of scholar. Mm -hmm. What business would a scholar have living there? Research. Apparently he spends all his time locked up in a study, studying some shiny red stone. How convenient. His men won't let anyone in to see him. Hmm. Hmm. If you ask me, it sounds like he's hiding something. <laughs> he may very well be, but I'm fine letting him keep his secrets. Interesting. The secrets he can keep, but that stone is a different story. Time to do some research on my own. Outskirts of town, was it? for Orlick's residence. Yeah, so off stream I looted all of these townspeople, so we could just go straight to the story. And I totally went the wrong way. This way to the green marker. Here we go. This must be the place. Oh, of course. And of course, it's guarded by the Knights Ardant. No, just just random mercenaries. Find out. A scholar with his own personal armed guard? Yeah, that's not suspicious or anything. Hmm. No back door either. Can't get a free pass anywhere these days. I'll swing by the tavern. Someone's bound to know something. Probably can't talk to these guys. Answer, tell me, how would you get into this building? An interesting query. Rotate battlefield, I would seek out the weakest flank and strike, using the elements of surprise. Oh? Would have figured you more for a full frontal assault. Of course I would consider that too, were it necessary. But either way, reaching the center of the manse would be no easy task. Group force can only get you so far, eh? Just so. The straight way of the soldier is not always the sun wreck, the surest, nor quickest path. Hence, this venture is best left in your hands. I'm most eager to see your skills in action. Heh, <laughs> never thought I'd have an audience. So, um, Ulrich just doesn't give a fudge about some guy trying to steal shit. I guess it's for an okay cause to get that fool's bangle that Ulrich's like, oh, okay, I'll... I'll just, um, 
forget the fact that we're trying to break into someone's house. Now, then. now let's see. Who here looks like they know about our friend or like? Hello. How's business, my friend? Well, you see. Not good, I'm afraid. I hope you're faring better. And these guys are old guys, but <sighs> got like voices of like 30 year olds. I wish I could tell you so, but it's been hard lately for me too. My condolences. Mine too. Moving on. I just don't get those people. Locked away in that manner, surrounded by guards. Mm. Strange, isn't it? Makes me wonder. Just what Orlok's up to in there. Well, wow. like it. Hey. Mind if I have a seat? Hello. Oh. Can I get you two a drink. Oh, That's right mighty then. kind of you, stranger. What brings you here? You don't look like you're from around these parts. I'm a wanderer, going wherever my feet take me. There's nothing better than a tall ale and a good tail after a day of traveling. If you don't mind my asking, who's this Orlick fellow you were talking about? If you're that interested, we'll tell you all about him. Consider it thanks for the drinks. Orlick's the talk of the town right now. He's a scholar. And one, I dare say, went off the deep end. Hold himself up in the building on the edge of town. Or it is, he's doing some kind of research and hasn't come out since. Just so. I heard he's investigating a stone, but nobody knows what for. <laughs> Definitely sounds like he's got a few screws loose. Uh. You got that right. He's one you don't want to get involved with. Now that I think about it, though, didn't he have a research partner? Yeah, I heard he was another eccentric one. I think he's still doing his research in town. Hmm. What's his name? If I Barham? 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 Yeah, that's it. He worked in that manor with Orlick, but they went their separate ways after a disagreement. Is that I guess so? they were too much for each other to handle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. Anyway, I hope that states your curiosity, Wanderer. Thanks. Yes, thank you for your time, gentlemen. Now to track down this Barham. More travel banter. Not a bad crowd, if I say so myself. Of course, the tavern where I used to ply my trade was far livelier. Hard to rouse a crowd without a little entertainment, after all. The quiet works for me, especially when I need to talk shop. That's so. Still, I might as well perform one dance and lift the people's spirits. Hey, where do you think you're going? You need to keep a low profile. Can a girl have a little fun? Cyrus. I want to hear what Cyrus has to say about Therion's escapades. Now then. Now then, let's see if he's home. What? Who's there? Someone looking for a man named Barham. Let's I'm Barham. What business do you have with me? Is that I heard so? you used to be Orlick's research partner. Is that true? Yes, that was yes. long, long ago. I have nothing to do with the man now. And all the better for it. If that's all you came here for, you can leave now. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait. Hear me out. Orlick has something I need. What? What's that? I'll give you a hint. It's the subject of his research. <sighs> the 
Ruby Dragonstone. Indeed. One. I see. I see. plan to take it from him. He gets charged. <laughs> I need my help. That's right. Mm -hmm. I see. Come to ask me how to get into his place. <laughs> Two scars are quick on the uptake. Let's hurry this up. Very well. I'll give you the answer you seek. You'll need a password to enter. Oh. The password is... <laughs> I'm sure it's, aren't we? I'll tell you one... I'll tell you on one condition. Is that Let's hear so? it. Get what I need for my experience, and we'll call it a deal. Sure. Sounds fair. So what do you need? Pure water, filtered through the desert sands, kind found only in the most pristine oases. Oases. Hmm. Filling me. I actually thought your demand was going to be reasonable. <sighs> it is, you fool. A merchant from the Sunlands oft comes to town selling this very water. However, this rarity doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Price is never my problem. Consider it done. Alright, so we gotta steal some water from a merchant. Good thing we don't have Tressa. So maybe we'll go grab Tressa real quick, see if there's any travel banter. I wanna see. Probably gonna be like, why you gotta steal, Therion? Why don't you just buy it off him? I'll 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 haggle it down for us. Nope. She's got nothing to say. Hold on, let me go to this area. Maybe trigger. No, sir. No travel banter. Feels bad. Inch, in an inch. Inch, in an inch. Let's grab Sir Olberic back. You the story. Uh, it's down here. Oh, there he is. There's a bunch of new people that I can talk to here. But I cannot steal from any of them. Oh, because they were all people that were already previously in here. An elderly man who once worked as a carpenter of noble court. He has long since left the family business to his son and grandson. He refuses to remain idle. Spends his days wandering the town, offering to repair any minor damage for free that the house that the houses have suffered, much to the amusement of his kin. A humble florist of noble. He is utterly devoid of business acumen, old and almost unbelievably small quantity of product. As the second son of a noble family, he stands inherit little, and so was given this responsibility that he might earn his own fortune someday. What do you got for me? I'll take this, I'll take that, and take that. And I'll take all of this. And what do you have for me? Oh, I couldn't. Welcome, come welcome. on, come on! I present you the most precious and refreshing beverage in the realm! Oasis water, all natural and free of even the slightest impurities. One sip and you'll taste the difference. You there, how about a drink? Thief time. You need a thief to water. yourself to some rare and revitalizing oasis water straight from the desert. Alright, give it to me. It's gonna lift this off of you. Deliver the water to Barham. Here you go. 
And Hope you're thirsty. That. Uh -huh. that was faster than I anticipated. No, I fulfilled no. my half of the bargain. Now tell me the password. Now, now, your half is fulfilled when I say it's fulfilled. I see what's happening here. I should hope so. I'll need a few more things for my experience if you'd be so kind. The thieves are notorious for being kind. How can I help you? I require a wyvern scale. Can you procure one for me? I don't know. Where can I find one? They're sold in town from time to time. It's highly prized by scholars as a reagent and carries a price to match. Got it. I'm noticing a trend here, but yes, I can get it for you. This guy's poor aft, man. Yes, yes. Good. I'm counting on you. So what does he do when he's, you know, trying to just, when he doesn't have any materials, you know? He just sits around thinking about experiments and not actually doing experiments. He's got no money. Can't procure these materials for himself. What's he do? He's up there. Check this golden here. Interesting. Grand armor, silent cape. Increases evasion. Evasion, you say? I don't think we need evasion, though. Oh my gosh, it goes up to 300. A lot. I don't understand speed, guys. Speed is on weapons, but when it's on weapons, your speed takes whichever one's the highest. Or your, your attacks always take the one that's the highest, right? Because, like, for elemental damage, it's always going to take the stat of whatever weapon is highest. So, you know, if you're holding an axe, a staff, and a sword, whichever one of those equipments has the highest elemental attack, that's what your magic is gonna, magical damage is gonna be based on. It's gonna be, be based on whichever one has the highest. Wyvern scale. Welcome! I wonder if I had Tressa, we could probably buy this off of them. Back to Null before we go. Just a bunch of fetch quests. Thank god it's not far. Here you go. Here's the wyvern scale. Wyvern? Wyvern? And I got what you it. asked for. Uh -huh. uh, you're quite good at your craft. I need a password, not praise. And I need just one more thing. Of course, the, the three... Wonderful. Three... Art trope in all games. Always three. Remind me, who's the crook here? That's a fine attitude to have if you don't want the password. Okay, but this is the last one. Yes, I promise. It's a special type of lore. Metallic in nature, but crystal clear. If I have it, I can begin my experiment. Music to my ears. Alright. He didn't tell us what it was, though. It was just, just an ore. Healed crystal ore. Did he say that? I feel like he didn't say that. Hey, look here. I carry only the finest quality minerals. I'll take it off of you. Bye. All right, here you go, crystal ore. That's it, right? If he asks us to get one more thing, and we're about to that. slap him, silly. I got what you asked for. 
Here. Catch. Careful. Careful with that. Anyhow, thanks. At least I can begin my grand experiment. Huh. Aren't you forgetting something, old man? You promised me a password. Ah. Cool your heels. The experiment comes first. Hope you don't think you can swindle a swindler. Wrong. Don't be ridiculous. Just be patient I'll up I'll, and I'll uphold my half of the bargain. If you Orlick and I have known each other since our years at the Academy. We acquired that manor as a place to continue our research. But he changed after coming across that dragon stone. It's almost like he was possessed. His life consumed by his research. He wouldn't let anyone get near him. Not even me. Theon does not give a fuck. That's why I want to help you get that stone away from... Really? It's not meant to be held by our hands. Hmm. The password is... The truth of all things. Well, I'll be damned. That's easy enough to remember. Yes. yes. Take this with you, too. This is... This is a key. True. Observe it. You see. You use those materials to make this. Yes, You're a yes. natural-born researcher, boy. Now the password will get you into the mansion. But the door to the laboratory can only be opened with that key. Makes you think he doesn't want anyone getting in. Not even an old friend like you. Yes, you may have disagreed from time to time, but Orlik is still like a brother to me. My more well, my warnings may have been nothing but noise to him, but I wouldn't be much of an older brother if I didn't nag from time to time. Passion is important in our line of work, but there's a fine line between that and obsession. And Orlix crossed that line. Hmm. This moving friendship, or maybe brotherly love, is why you're so willing to help me? <laughs> I wonder. Perhaps it's jealousy or hatred that's come to drive me. Those bygone days are precious to me, even now. I know what I feel is true. Oh, really? Hugs the old heartstrings. My own reasons are more than enough to go through with this. Thanks. Friends, brothers, partners. Alright, so I guess he turned out to not be a scumbag. Although he definitely seemed like one. On the surface. Until he opened up. All right. I think we're in the clear. <laughs> Those Ciano bastards finally got what they deserved. Mm. Always strutting around like they're bleeding. Like they bleed and own the place. I wish I could see their boats when they realized someone beat them to it. No matter how hard they look now, they won't find our treasure. <laughs> Something this rare would be wasted on them anyway. You said it. Now we'll just sell the we'll just sell this gem and wait. Something wrong? Where are the gold coins we stole? We said we'd split the spoils. <laughs> Sharp as a tag, aren't ye? Not much, so I thought I'd hold on to it and buy you a tiddly later. I see. see. And let's celebrate with this tonight. <gasps> yeah, let's. All right. Don't let your guard down. Sianos will come for revenge at some point. They call themselves thieves, but they'll resort to violence if need be. Thanks. I know. Thanks for looking out, partner. Now then. 
Something's gonna happen to this guy. Either he dies or he stabs Therion in the back. Well, that's what I think. Okay, we got some banter. Iris. I swear, scholars have to be the most pig-headed folk around. Not exactly. There's some truth to... No, I'm afraid I must protest. You must understand that not all scholars are like the master here. I concede there are stubborn types obsessed with the research and blind to all else. But there are broad-minded thinkers too, who freely seek wisdom and truth in all its forms, like myself, for example. I see. Let me rephrase myself. By all means, my friend. Scholars are some of the most pompous and pedantic people I've ever had the joy of meeting. Now that's hardly an improvement. Allow me to make a counter-argument. Case in point. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, he had a bow. Alright. Let's save. Halt! What business do you have here? There's no need to sneak around now that I have the password. If I play my cards right, I can walk right in. Hey. I have a package for Orlik, materials for his experiment. Oh, you hear anything about a delivery? Nah. Not me. Hmm. That's odd. Maybe the message just got lost somewhere. Anyway, he said it was urgent, so I rushed over. Understood. What's the password? The truth of all things. Alright, you may pass. Much obliged. Much obliged. I want to talk to these guys. Time to get to work. Where would we be without guards? I want to talk to them. I want to steal. This guard has worked at this residence for around two years. He takes his duties quite seriously. However, he has yet to find a way to convince his peers to remain in service of his other demanding master. Hit an item. A man who was recently hired as a guard at the mansion. His half-hearted approach to his profession has seen him dismissed many times before. And given the expectations of his current employer, it is only a matter of time before he is sent away or leaves. And once more turns to his exasperated parents for support. Sounds like, uh, you know, a lot of people nowadays. Oh, hey, chest. Didn't even see this. Alright, what do you have for me? A heavy blade. Oh, interesting. A moon blade, eh? He just lifted their weapons off of them, man. This is a straight upgrade, so we'll do that. Go. Let's go. Orlix Mance. There's people to fight in here. Probably guards. Let's do a quick save. Do some exploring. Wait, did I just Interesting. This one's uh, a little bit more complicated. You know, if you run, you have more chance to encounter enemies. But if you walk, you have a less chance of encounter enemies. Pair that with uh, elusive maneuvers. And I feel like we're not even going to find a single enemy in here. I lied. JK. I've done my research on you. Dumb. Uh, but RNG will be RNG. Uh, that looks like he's got fire in his belly, so we're gonna go with um, Ice Wind. Nope, that is not fire in his belly. You missed. These Sentinel things are like weak to everything. Okay, maybe not. No. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. 
pretty sure light will break these guys. Dun, 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 dun. Man, I wanted to see what he had to steal. So, if you break an enemy, um, they will go first um, on the next turn that they uh, will come back from from being stunned. Always. They will always go first on the next turn. If you did not know that. All right, Darion, please attack after you steal. Fudge. Are you weak to dark? Oh no, he's not weak to any elements. You could tell, because uh, the order of the vulnerability is always the same. So if you know the order of um, that they appear in, you can get a better idea of what they're weak to. So you notice that the stave was the final one, so... He's not going to be weak to any other elements because the elements appear after the staffs. Oh man, okay, this mansion is actually quite complicated. Okay, I thought there was a little room there. Do I have elusive maneuvers on right now? I don't know. Ice Guardians. Do -do -do. Pole arms? Are we to pole arms? Alright, pole arms. Alright, so these guys are ice guard. These guys drop ice soul stones. Just regular ice soul stones. So they're probably not worth stealing. So we're not going to. Warrior skills! Apothecary. Ninety-three percent. Spiriting plump. Moonlight Waltz. That's all you did? 200 damage for him? Come on, yo, you're better than that. Alright, we're, we're good. <laughs> it was probably like 2 HP away from dying. Leads down. Oh, there's a hidden room over here. Nice. And we got Therion, lightning amulet. Nice. We're collecting all the amulets for all the elements. I think the only one we're missing is light. Maybe dark. Light or dark? I don't know. Alright, what can we steal off of these dudes? I am ready. <laughs> Break his ass. <laughs> there. Gather strength. What is the logical course of action? What is the logical course of action? Smite them down. What is my strongest weapon? With the pole arm, four hundred damage. Might. 
I wouldn't be able to break him this turn anyway, so it's gonna go for one. They weren't weak to lightning. Ha! Ah, ice! Are you guys weak to knives? No, sir. The battle is truly joined. Battle is. Yeah, he died. Why you gotta be so weak? Oh, ice pierced them through. Oh, ice pierced them through. Heal <laughs> from this guy. Point pouch. Okay, so just extra money. Not worth. You missed. Okay, wait, so that did 470? Oh, he wasn't broken, so that wasn't a good comparison. Fresh and jam. Fuck, I think I should have gone through that room first. Messed up. Light Guardian. Alright, so he has the potential to be weak to swords. And I think... Axes. I think daggers are before... Or daggers come after swords, definitely, and axes. So let's see if he's weak to an axe. No, sir. Out of my way. Or maybe it's pole arms. Okay, it's pole arms. Sorry. I think it goes sword, pole arm, dagger, axe, arrow, stave. So that means he's weak to swords. Yes. I'm ready. We could dark? No. What kind of guardian is it? Damn, why'd they go first? I didn't break them. We need to figure out how speed works in this game, chat. Oh, it's just a regular old guardian. So he might not have an elemental weakness. Yep, he doesn't have an elemental weakness. Oh, I should have seen what I could steal off a of regular guardian. Oh well. The source did 300. My pole arm did 400. So I think my pole arm is my strongest weapon. Yeah, Primrose doing more damage than Nolberg. That dagger we have equipped it is redonkulous. Yeah, I should have gone through here first. Come on, RPG 101, you know? Always just go the, uh, the other path first. Usually not the right path, or you know, the main path. Not the right path. I'm not. That's not what I meant. I meant main path. All right, Dark Sentinels, regular Guardians. Let's break them. Now. What? Now. What? Out of my way. No, 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 no. So you are weak. You are weak to knives. Let's break you. I'm ready. Damn, he is really, really low HP. These guys probably drop Dark Souls. Okay, so, so sword, pole arm, axe. So that means he's either weak to knives or arrows. All right, let's see how strong my axe is. 400. Okay, I think my pole arm is my strongest weapon. So what did I say? Arrows or knives, right? 
or staves. So arrows, knives, or staves. Nope, not arrows. Shadow Soul Stone. Hit him. Nope. Victory shall be mine. Let's just level slash these guys. I will cut you down. Oh, they didn't die. Fudge. I am ready. May the sacred flame shine forth. Didn't want to press the, the extra two buttons to boost. Iris level 39. A light soul stone. Yeah, I definitely should have gone here first. Sorry, chat. I was right the first time. But alas, I was not confident. Alright, now I think we're officially done with this dungeon. So let us get out of here. Bunch of guardians. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I don't know what else he says. Uh, are you dead? No. Victory, Victory shall, be shall be ours. Shall be mine. I am ready. Whirling blow. Healing grape? M? Okay, that's actually not bad. I am ready. This should kill Night them all. Bring your yes, sir. It kills them all. The show is over. Alright, we don't want any fight. So we're just gonna walk. Do I have elusive maneuvers on right now? Evasive. It's not elusive, my bad. There's the entrance to the lab. Barham's key. So well, I'll this is damned. the door Barham was talking about. It doesn't look like it has any ordinary lock, that's for sure. But this crystal key should do the trick. And it's open! There's the stone! But where's the dude? Alright, quiet time. The Ruby Dragonstone. One down, two to go. That's far enough, thief! You must be Orlik. I assume you heard the rumors and came to steal my Dragonstone. But filthy thieves such as yourself could never appreciate it. Wait. Barham put you up to this, didn't he? Patronizing coward Barham. This research is pointless, Orlik. Enough with the dragon stone, Orlik. I'll decide when enough is enough. 
Mark my words, boy. This stone is mine. <laughs> I beg to differ. I couldn't care less about its true value. But I need to get that stone back to its rightful owner, and that's not you. This stone should be in the hands of someone intelligent. Someone who can appreciate its mysteries. Someone like yourself? Precisely. This beautiful stone requires research. And I'm the only one who can do it. It sounds like you can't trust anyone else to get the job done. Why should I? I never said you should. I know how it feels. Don't pretend you understand! Enough of this thoughtless prattle! I have work to do! Let's get this over. Orlik is being protected by his lackeys. Alright, so we gotta fudge up his lackeys. Is what I hear. Let's see. We got four turns. We don't know what they're weak to, though. They are weak to another element. We just gotta figure out what that element is. The battle is truly joy. Let's do a level slash to see if they weak to swords. And they are. <laughs> Perfect. So swords, that means they can be weak to literally any other weapon, because swords is the first one, so that's not very helpful. Let's take the chance with that. Nope. Alright. I'm ready. What what do you think they're weak to for their second element? Darkness. Augmentation. Okay, they're still at white health, so stealing is gonna be not very good right now. So let's just attack. Well, we want to deal as much damage right now. But I think they got a good amount of health, so we'll donate BP to Cyrus. Here you go. And we will blast them to the ring. I didn't think they would die from that. How about you? Okay, so they're almost dead. Uh, we will. Hmm. What do I want to do here? We'll, we'll poison Orlik. Just, just, for, just to see how much HP he has. Because, uh. Um, poison does 1%. So. Uh, let's make you fast. The Panther Dance. How many turns? Three turns? Bad. My turn. All right, I should be able to steal off these guys now. What's your getting plum? Okay, that's not really worth it. All right, go ahead and blast them. Oh, I them through. Magic <sighs> missile. Three hundred ten. So he has about thirty-one thousand <laughs> HP. 31,000, 310, add two zeros, yeah, 31k. He's got about 30, 31k HP. Naito, bring your shade. How about you? How about you? What is the logical course of action? A tempest of ice shall rain. Gone. I can now defeat Orlik. 
Alright, so it's weak to knives. Uh, we'll do... goes first next turn. Uh, we can't break him though, so... No point. We'll just try to... Oh, he's weak to swords. Oh, no, he's not. Full arms. Sorry, I forgot. Swords, full arms, daggers. Swords, full arms, daggers. Are you weak to... that? Alright, right here, I'm calling him pole arms. He's weak to pole arms. Yeah. It goes swords, pole arms, daggers, axes, bows. And in that case, let's uh, let's see if he's weak to uh, a bow. Nope. Axe. Yes. Alright, so that means he's weak to the other two is magic. Wildering Grace! Oh, jeez. <laughs> and three debuffs! Oh my god! Three debuffs, guys! Oh my goodness. What a. Uh, we can break him. What a. What a. What a terrible, unfortunate series of events. Alright, what magic are we to? Uh, he was locked, so... Oh, ice. Might be weak to ice. Yes, no, fruit. he's not. Fire. I can't. He was not weak to both. Oh, Lightning? Lightning. Nope, not lightning. So it must be fire. No, so light and dark? Might be light and dark. And I can't figure I can't I can't find out. Let's do armor corrosive. I see. Eight turns. not weak to any of these magics. We'll just analyze you this turn then. Oh, wind. I totally forgot about wind. Oh, how much HP did he have, chat? I didn't see. Was it 3,100? Totally forgot about wind as an element. We're gonna do it again. 30k, yeah, so about 31k. I was I was I was close. I was close. I can steal from this guy? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to weaken him. Time for a break. For a break. The battle is truly joy. Break them this turn. I'm ready. All right, come on, bewildering grace. <laughs> wow, really? SP 
drain. Well, that's lame. Come on, Primmy. You can do better than that. Alright, let's, uh... Elephant's Enlightenment? Yes. <gasps> no, I gave it to Primrose. I'm an idiot. No, it didn't. It didn't remember my my thing. My uh. Right, it didn't reset my my cursor. Lame. Oh, I fudged up. Out of my way. I'm gonna donate BP then. You. Here you go. Now the true lesson begins. I get two more turns of this. Now nah, fuck it, we're just gonna attack him. No. You shall be here. Okay, now it reset my cursor. Jeez. I am ready. Where's my healing? Oh, it's cleric skills, of course. Let yourself be healed. So remember, healing is based off of your uh, healing is based off of uh, your uh, magical defense. More like golem. Can I steal from you? No, I can't. No, I want that to be a little bit better. Huh, should we try to break him or the golem? I think if we kill Orlik, I mean the golem will go down anyway. And he's got eight. We got lucky. I am ready. Shine forth. Did it not hit the golem? The battle is truly joined. <laughs> I am ready. We can break Orlik here. Oh, he's at red health. Victory shall be mine. <laughs> Lightning bolt. All right, time to steal. Ninety-four percent. Inspiriting plum basket. Ooh, nice. What next? Great Inferno the squatches the land. Victory. I think you're dead. Yes, you do I have to kill the golem? I do. I'm ready. All right, well, let's kill the golem. All right, daggers. Let's do daggers. I'm ready. Come on! JP times five. You feel a boost of strength. Nice. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> An interesting dilemma. This guy's still at white health, so he's still got a lot of health left. I think we're gonna need to do a donate BP here. Great Inferno. Scorches the land. I am ready. Um. <laughs> lion dance. The lion dance. Oh, he was already buffed. I totally forgot about the, the buff we got from Bewildering Dance. Out of my way. My bad. My bad. 
I'm gonna give you a max cross strike. No. Watch my dead. 4,900. Wow. With each battle, I grow stronger. 300 JP. That was times five. 300 divided by five. What is that, chat? 60? 50? 60 or 50? I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna turn on the light. Since you won't be doing much more research, I'll just take this. Now, back to Boulder Ball. I'm sure Heathcote's got new orders for me. Hooray. I'm back. I'm so glad to see you safe, Mr. Therion. I brought the Dragonstone. This is indeed the Ruby Stone, without a doubt. You have my gratitude. He is simply upholding his half of the deal, milady. He deserves no such thanks. After all, he has yet to return the two remaining stones. I think he's earned the removal of the band. Stop and think about what you're saying. I beg your pardon? You can't guarantee I'll fulfill my promise if you remove this now. I believe you would. And why is that? You don't strike me as someone who would abandon responsibility. And you strike me as someone with too much faith in people. Take it from me. No matter how much you trust someone, they will betray you. So do yourself a favor and build your walls up higher before you get hurt. Mr. Therion? Please, my lady, that's quite enough. Though I hate to admit it, he's right. It's best not to remove the band just yet. If you insist. So, where's the next stone? After a bit of digging, I found it to be in Wellspring. Yo, what's up, Asian little cutie? Any idea where we're, we're in quiet Wallspring? during the uh, the dialogue during the dialogue parts of the story? That town is home to a black market. What does he know about the black market? Only those involved with the business are supposed to know. I knew he was no ordinary butler. The Emerald Dragonstone is being sold there. Or so my sources say. I'll be on my way then. Good luck out there, Mr. Therion. You don't need to see me off again. It's a waste of time for both of us. But... Please, don't burden yourself with him, Miss Ravis. Even that man has dignity to uphold. Dignity? Though he may live an unscrupulous life, his skills as a thief keep him alive. 
Naturally, he has pride and confidence in these skills, but we use them against him. And I can imagine he feels great frustration when shown compassion and consideration by the very ones who duped him. If he did not feel such, I would not think him suitable for the job. I, I see. He's a man with a lot of pride. Milady? My apologies, Heathcote, but I can't help thinking of that lonesome look on his face. It reminded me of myself right there. Is that so? Yes. His words may have been harsh, but I could tell that his true feelings were different. They got a thing for each other. The Therion's journey continues. His next target, the Stone of Emerald. So he sets forth for the town of Wellspring in the Sunlands and the den of villainy that awaits within. They got a thing for each other, man. They do. And he totally got backstabbed by his friend. Totally, 100%. Uh, I'm back here for some reason. Because he needed to deliver the stone, of course. Is there anything that I could... S oh! I could have stolen from this guy over here. Let's see. 80%. We will take that off your hands, good sir. On the DL. Probably at the end of the game. End of his story, man. They, they gonna... They gonna... They gonna do the deed. Okay, I still don't know how to do this side quest. Do I challenge him? Do I, do I just beat him? No. All right, we're gonna do another chapter two. Let's see which one we can do. Darion's is level 36 for his chapter three. Tresses is 34. Cyrus's is 40. Wow. Okay. So I think I want to do. I want to do Ulbrich or Alfin. Which one should we do? Hmm. We can flip a coin. Uh, we'll, we'll do Alphans. We'll do Alphans. <laughs> oh, I stole from you already. Oh, nice. All right, it's time to loot this town of all of its possessions. Let's see now. A merchant who mainly operates in the coastlands. He worries about everything from his future to the weather, leaving him little time to concentrate on his stock and trade. You've got nothing. You got some. You got some items though. We'll take all that shit. I fell found this huge egg and has been taking care of it ever since. He's a fisherman. What does he even know of eggs? <laughs> said he found it in the depths of the place they call Captain's Bay. I wonder what it might hatch into. That's interesting. Ah, sorry. He took everything. If I didn't find a safer route to travel than that blasted high road, they're going to put me out of business. The girlfriend of an, un of an inexperienced fisherman. Though they care deeply for one another, she has grown somewhat tired of his habit of bringing home everything the sea deigns to deliver to him. She's tired of his shit, basically. I will take all that shit. Physical defense, elemental defense, starlight hat. Right. Just up ahead, Ooh. up in the hills, is the manor district. Beyond that, you'll find the cathedral. Cathedral. Oh. Amelia is probably gonna come by here. Age 72, an elderly later who collects things that wash ashore. The current carries many curious items to the rocks beneath 
scavenge, and so she can often be found there. Less a hobby and more an obsession. <laughs> she has scavenged for valuables every day for many, many years. Get an item from her. You got nothing to steal. They say there's a cave not far east of here that's filled with glowing moss and some particularly, particularly nasty inhabitants if the rumors are true. Discount. A man who spends his day staring at the sea employed by aristocrats to manage and local and he grew dissatisfied with his lot after a few months and began to neglect his duties. Recently, however, he has started to loathe the layabout he has become. Lodgings are now cheaper. Take that. Hello, tavern. Hey, Hanit. Lin and I are ever ready to hunt beside thee. Thou needest say the word. And there's no one to talk to in here, actually. Uh, we're going to change our party up real quick. We need... We need Alfin here. It's you, <laughs> my fast friend and companion! It is I, the great adventurer Le Man. Surely you have not forgotten me? I remember you, man. I was well on my way to uncovering a new continent when I came up upon a most perilous sight. I got home. <laughs> ah, all too often the greatest adventures bring with the greatest sorrows. I very much want to discover new worlds, and yet I simply cannot motivate, motivate myself to leave home. If only someone could give me the gentle nudge I need to step forth into the great unknown. So I need to go out and find someone adventurous and bring him to have a copper filled pouch. Oh, I didn't talk to that lady right there. Outside of town oh, to the southwest hello. is a cave near the shore. I hear it's awfully pretty there. Oh, I can't inquire you. Fire level 30. Hidden item, a traitor born to a modest family that was that has called this town home for generations. She has despised the nobility ever since one of them treated her mother cruelly. Her fiance serves a wealthy household, and so she tries her best to conceal her disgust. That doesn't sound like a relationship you want to be in, man. It sounds like you're you're living a lie. Sounds like you're living a lie. Thunder Soulstone L. Ooh. Feeling Great Bunch. Oh, I had a name for myself once. I was the mercenary who brought down a whole company all on his own. 96%? We'll just inquire. I don't want to take that 4% balance. A rowdy brute who resorts to violence when he fails to get what he wants, owing to his experience as a mercenary. He is not a man to be trifled with. He has been seen fiddling with a small gold medal from time to time. Can I steal that off of you? Cleaver, Iron Armor, Essence of Plum. I'll take all that off of you. Some years hmm. back now, our ship went down in a bad spot of weather. Most of the crew washed up eventually, but no one ever saw the captain again. The rest of the crew gave it long ago, and everyone went their separate ways in the end. But I haven't stopped believing that the captain is still alive out there somewhere. Great man he was. He'd know him anywhere by his long beard. Should you ever see such a man in your travels, I'd be mighty pleased if you could bring him here to me. Okay. Blue wave. Sleep weed. Out of war. Spiriting. Um. Manor district. <laughs> We'll do it later. We'll do it. Uh, now. South of here is a com commerce district. Got an inn, a tavern, whatever you like. Guide with ease. Healing grape. Spiriting plum. There's a lot of side quests here, guys. Oh dear. Scourge of the Seas. He brings home every catch. 
It's very nice of you. A Leviathan egg. Wow. That's who that lady was talking about. What do you want? Sorry, there's nothing here for you. I'm telling you the truth. What? You don't believe me? Yeah, dude, I'm about to fight you. Man who serves the nobles. <laughs> what do we have to interest his fiance to him or not? Nice chat with you. I'm going to defeat you and steal whatever is in your house, man. After I steal everything from everyone else, that is. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so you need me to do something about bandits, huh? Safe route. Oh. Hold on, not yet. We wanna we wanna talk to you first. And we wanna steal from you first. Protective ring and an olive of life. Alright, let's Let's go ahead and complete this side quest. I guess we pick this up somewhere along the road. Mm-hmm, I see. Yes, I bet the bandits don't frequent a road like this. It's only a little bit out of the way. It shouldn't be too much of a burden on the merchants either. I'll start telling all the merchant groups about this road. We should be back in business in no time. You've been a real help here. We've really been at our wit's end. Can't believe you even found this place. Never even knew there was such a road here. I suppose it's just like business. Sometimes you overlook unexpected opportunities. Nice. Well, that is K dollars. Wow. Hello there. At right, eighty-eight. Herb of clamor. Ah, <laughs> uh, aristocrat. Elitist attitudes. Higher of the common folk. Nothing in this house. Hmm. Interesting. Good day. The chapel. Hmm. Yes. Always bring a smile to my face. Are oh, there people inside the church too? This place is gigantic. Chest. Come, come. Please try to be quiet. Yes, sir. Take a flame of her as a cherub. I am white. The god that is holy. That is all of holy. All of life. Alright, inquire. New weapon! Wow, uh, renounces noble heritage to become a cleric. We have energizing pomegranate, empowering ring, extra 200 HP. HP? an item. A humble cleric whose contributions tend to go unnoticed, though he can boast of no great accomplish accomplishments that get diligent and hardworking. Utter it is utterly utterly devoted to faith. There's an item over here. Uh, there is said item. Energizing pomegranate. BP boosts. Probably restores 2 BP. Hidden item. <laughs> Taking naps when on duty. Probably not a good idea, man. Soul hatchet. Imperial armor. Oh. Fudge. Really? 80%, dude? Come on. Come on. Right, that's at 55. We'll leave that for now. We'll come back for it. Hidden item. Wizard's Rod. Oh, damn. 
300 elemental attack. Elusive shield. Sure, we'll take that. That's that's a lot. That is a lot. Do you not know who I am? I am the noblest of nobles, the great Grevin. Ack, um, that is to say, um, so you're a piece of shit. Healing great bunch and energizing pomegranate. All right, so we got a note. We got to steal from that knight Ardante. We gotta steal from that knight Ardante. That is by the church. Gonna pick up these two items real quick. Silver axe. Uh, wind soul stone. We're gonna save real quick. Silver axe? I don't think that's that great, right? Silver axe. Yeah, Silver Axe is not that good. Hello. Hell. Finely dressed man. Nice chan with ya. Powering bracelets. Okay, come on, 20%. Yes. Hell. Can I be of service as tea? Oh, he's got a whetstone! There was a... There was a... Um, what's it called? A uh, uh, side quest over in Quarry Crest for a whetstone. So, uh... We'll probably just lift this off of you. <laughs> Actually, blinds target. Graviton axe. Holy, oh, that is some damage. Elemental attack goes up. Oh. But well, I think my soul hatchet is stronger. <laughs> Elemental shield. Star hat. It's all heavy armor. Element robe. Best. Hmm. hatch is one forty-seven. Remember how elemental attacks work. Um, for weapons, it's based off whichever out of all of your equipped weapons, it's based off the highest elements on the So, this one difference isn't that much 58 versus 47. So, what's that? Nine? Nine difference? Three plus eight, 11 different. 11 different. Not that big of a deal. I could give it to someone else. Hmm, 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 hmm. That is a good question. Should I purchase that? Ah, uh, we will not. We will not. Alright, let's lift this off of this guy. Sorry, Stonemonger. There is literally no penalty for me stealing that off ya. Yeah. Alright, I think we have uh, inquired everybody here. Oh, wait. Oh, I need to challenge this guy. Oh, he's easy to fight. Alright, we're gonna take this guy down and see what's inside the house. Let us fight with honor. Dude, dude, the battle dude. Is truly oh, I'm, I'm low HP. Standing there in a daze. He's got he does five damage. I'm pretty sure you're dead. 
Alright, what's in your house, man? Ah, there's an old man in here. You managed to get in here? Not bad. A hidden item. An elderly man who worships the, cath the cathedral. After injuring his back, he prayed for a speedy recovery. Though it was ultimately his daily exercises that saw him restored to good health. He nevertheless, credits it to his unwavering faith. <laughs> Good. Uh, oh my gosh. 3% to steal it off of this guy? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. He had a hidden item though. What was the hidden item? These freaking flower beds. Healing grape. That's some booty. Doo doo mama loot there. All right, we're gonna go for that 55% item on that Knight Ardant. We're gonna save real quick. Imperial armor, shit. Come on, come on, it's just like flipping a coin. Yes, got it, second try. One out of two. 50%. Alright, I think Gold Shore is completely looted. Wait, what did you have? Oh, Leviathan Egg. That's right. Okay. And I started that quest already. I talked to him already. Okay, let's start Alphen's chapter. But first, we must rest. Hold on, sorry. Who needs healing? You need healing. Alright. Go to the inn. Heal up. Level 39, Cyrus, holy moly, cannoli. Alright, I was supposed to talk to him to continue the story. Hear a tale. Continue the tale. The story so far. So Alfin left behind his sleepy village in hopes of bringing sucker to the suffering. He asked for no coin to honor the man who once saved his life. Zeph. He wandered. Gold Shore. Interesting. So he's just looking for people to help. Swim in the ocean. Hmm? Did you hear? <laughs> Old Zeke's been stricken too. That's ten in just a week. Oh, he's here to cure epidemics. Hmm. The fever's spreading fast. Whatever are we to do? Now that, that you mention it. Here, there's a traveling apothecary in town. Oh? Word travel. Maybe it's not about him. They say right. she whipped up a tonic that cured one boy's fever overnight. Haha! <laughs> I see. A 
Polygon Town. <laughs> That's her. Howdy. That's the apothecary. Shucks. All right. Thanks. Ellen. Alfin. That almost rhymes. That's amazing. Are you a medicine man? <laughs> wow. Mr. Pocketary. Now listen here. Okay, that's not the apothecary. Someone she knows is sick. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Our house is right there. Do 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 do. Make for Ellen's abode. Abode. Probably gotta call it an abode. What did you have? Oh. Oh, wow. Well. Is there any hope for her, m'lady? That's the apothecary. Hmm. Just the fever that's going around. My remedy will have her on her feet in no time. Down it goes. Yes. I feel better already. Oh my! Just feel her forehead. The fever's all but gone. Oh, how can we ever repay you? Ever since their father died, I've raised my two girls on my own. I fear I have little in the way of coin. My sympathy. Worry not. Your kind words are payment enough. Thank Truly, you. my lady. <laughs> You got cell phones? How, how are you gonna call her? Letter? Howdy. Here I am! Where's my patient? I heard a poor girl was suffering from a terrible fever. He's okay. right there, Alfin. Oh? Hmm? She looks just fine to me. What are you thinking, bringing this scruffy-looking stranger into our home? <laughs> really? Oh, are you now? A professional. <laughs> Good day, sir. This is like Tressa's story. The rival. Hmm. Rival story. A quack salver. Quack salver. I'm sorry. I didn't know there was another pocket there he had. See ya. Not to catch cold, catch a cold, or is that a saying that I don't know? It'd be a saying. Hmm. What wouldn't give to be able to pick her brain? The 
allow me to pick your brain. Ooh, travel banter. Your skill in brewing salves is most admirable. Well, you've got your swordplay to boast of. Me, I've got my medicine. The soma. Neither curing nor fighting is a contest as such, but we all hope to triumph in our own field. Meeting fellows of the same trade can inspire a man, make him strive a little harder. At least, though it is among men of the sword. Guess you've had your run-ins with rivals who hated losing to. That would be all of them. Unlike swordsmen, folk could never have too many gifted healers. I think exactly. That's why I need to keep getting better, so I can help as many folks as I can. A noble ambition. How's uh Okay. An impish girl who lives in Goldshire with her mother Marlene and her twin sister Flynn. She takes after her father in both appearance and demeanor, a fact she is rather proud of, and strives to cheer up her mother. What do you have? Sleepwood, Anna Wart, and a tough nut. But I cannot sleep. Alright, let's continue. Motion. Hmm? What's all the hubbub? Oh, miss. How can we ever repay you? Thanks to your tincture, my dear husband is out of bed for the first time in weeks. My word, it worked like a miracle. And for such a modest fee, no less. You could charge tenfold, and it would still be a steal. <laughs> oh, you are far too kind. I was only doing my job. Seeing your hail and hearty smiles is payment enough for me. After all, we apothecaries have a sworn duty to ease suffering wherever we go, do we not? Fine words, those. You must be the apothecary everyone's been talking about. Indeed. Judging from that satchel of yours, I trust I am speaking to a colleague? You bet. Though, I've only started my journey. I'm Alfin. Vanessa. Vanessa Heisen. A pleasure. A sworn duty to ease suffering, eh? I like the sound of that. And I couldn't agree more. It's not about the coin we make. So long as I can keep myself fed, the joy of knowing I've eased someone's pain is all the payment I need. But of course, it is for that very purpose that I seek to ever hone my skills. <laughs> Great minds think alike, eh? Hey, would it be too much for me to ask to take a look at your pharmaceutics? Hmm? Well, just hearing about it, it's clear you're out of my league. The ingredients, the preparation, anything you could teach me, I'm all ears. can't share trade secrets with those in the business. Ah, beg pardon. I understand. We do need to put food on the table after all. No need for apologies. You're quite the diligent one, aren't you? Oh, you bet. I'm still new to this after all. Every day I'm learning something new. At any rate, I'm glad to know this town is in good hands. See you around. <laughs> you flatter me, friend. Fare thee well. He took that nicely. <sighs> Alrighty, where should I head now? Maybe I'll take a stroll by the beach. Crap. 
travel banter. Pirates, oh, you are oh. devoted to your studies indeed, most admirable. I've got lots to learn still, is why. I spend every free moment with my nose in the books, it's never enough. If I want to be able to treat every injury or ill I come across, your passion. I do not doubt you will one day achieve that. For the knowledge itself, it is drive and dedication that makes them be. You already have the most important thing you need for learning. So, can't say it ever felt that way to me. Keep up the work and you will become the apothecary you always wanted to be. Can't help but feel like you're being overly generous there, Professor Albright. Do you have that much faith in me? Maybe I should too. That's kind of boring. I'm better. I'm shiny. Well now, looky here. Good afternoon. You. What's this now? Show. Well now. Payment like <laughs> You don't say. Now listen here. Bad feeling about this Vanessa chick. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust her. She's just gonna get sick again, and then it's gonna be all bad, and then something's gonna happen. Something's gotta happen. More commotion. Huh? This. Needs to be another commotion. <gasps> Quickly. My husband won't stop coughing. Oh dear, My isn't that a shame? It seems there's a nasty... What? A nasty milady going around? Great Gaborah whooping cough. Oh, the hills from a land far, far to the south. But worry not, among my wares is a tonic that will cure it overnight. You don't say! Is she bringing epidemics and then curing Indeed. it for money? But of course. Special type of moth. Moat in quite treacherous location. Oh, hoo hoo! I fear I must change a substantial fee. <gasps> well, one hundred thousand leaves a file. <clears throat> what? That is substantial. <sighs> Oh, 
All right, she's sketch. I have no objections. She she makes them trust them. She makes them trust her, and then she takes their money. Oh shit! Low battery. Yes. Thank you. Glad you're doing business. Oh. Hold on, let me get some new controller battery. Gotta charge these. Alright, I'm gonna let those charge. And so if this one dies, they got more controllers ready. I fear my Flynn has come down with a cough as well. Oh man, dude. Her tonic oh, dear. makes the fever go down and then gives him this this illness and then she charges more. Oh. Oh. I fear that we do not have the coin that the gentry do. Here, this is my entire savings. Might you pray sell me a single file? Even just a sip. Anything to save my poor. Oh, if you say no. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, you are. You are a. <laughs> you are. You are a terrible person. This is all a trick. Oh dear. Holy. I think it's all a trick. Make money. All my heart and soul. Crime Mind if I drop in for a bit? What? Mm -hmm. You're that. One <laughs> scraggly, scruffy looking apothecary at your service. I might not be Miss Heisel, but if you need my help, it's yours. Let me take How about a look. it? The gods may be all powerful, but a checkup never. <laughs> oh, that's some. That's some. Okay. Coughing so hard she can barely breathe. Rare disease from a far flung land. Said it was Vanessa's medicine that cured your daughter's fever. It sure oh, yes. did. It worked like a miracle. What kind of medicine know. was it? What kind? Uh... There are still a few drops left. Oh? I see it. Knew it! He's bringing the plague around. Roma, it must have been brewed from the Bora Evergreen. That would hmm. make sense. Fever reduce after all. I remember reading something else about it. What's this now? It now? Oh, it is. Bora Evergreen, a flowering plant named Bora for its anti pyretic property. Constituent throat coughing. 
assemble those of the whooping cough and to the risk of severe and adverse reaction. Any wrongly dis <laughs> She couldn't have. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't share trade secrets with those in the Son of exactly a what she was doing. I knew it! It's very obvious, but I can't really do that medicine for free, knowing farewell that when the side effects kicked in, I would have to pay. Hold tight, Flynn. I'll have you feeling better in no time. So we're gonna go get that rare ingredient. Give two gifs and I'll brew you up just the thing. Aww. Alvin. Huh? Moss like can cure cough. That glows blue. Hmm. Moss I've never But I don't get out of town much. You might try asking around. Time to put Here the powers go. of inquire to, to good use. Gotcha. I'll be back just with just the right thing I need to hear. Let's cough for good. You bloody better. Stop that at once. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Alright, who do we talk to? Talk to some dude over here in Quiet Town for more information. A coachman by trade, he puts the safety of his customers above all else and refuses to traverse dangerous regions, regardless of the payment offer. He knows many a shortcut and back road. Nessa's destination. I like Alfin's story. It might be boring, but it's very wholesome. <laughs> what? What did you say? I've sent away. <laughs> no one makes his medicine like that, Vanessa. A haughty aristocrat. Oh, I talked to this guy before. Gossip of glowworm moss. All right. That caves of azure to the east. Exit the town and head southeast. This away, road to the caves of Azure. Dang. Birds got a lot of armor. All right. <laughs> I think they're weak to wind. They are. <laughs> See, Birdman six. Fire swallow up. Here we go. A lot of defense. No. Yeah. Alright, what can we steal off? 72, 42. It's your sleep weed. We're gonna kill these guys. 
we'll steal another battle. Not bad. A pass. 200! That's a lot for an easy battle. Holy. So, for these dungeons, that little uh, flag there is the correct destination. So, if you're looking for chests, go the other way. Don't follow the main road. So, there's that flag there, so we're gonna head down this way. Grab that. Tortoise man. They're water type, right? They should be weak to lightning. Body bash. No. They are not weak to swords. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Here goes nothing. They are going to attack first on the turn that they recover. I stole from this crap before, so we're just going to. We're not even gonna bother stealing. He died? The tortoise died? That low HP? You're giving a lot of XP though. There's gotta be a dungeon at the end of this. Yeah, okay, there's. Road to the Caves of Azure. Purple chest? I think it is. Alkin garb. Equipment. Yeah. Alkin garb. Physical defense, elemental defense, and evasion. Oh shit, you have nothing on right now. Oh. Uh, I, we'll put that on. That's the best thing we got right now, right? Attack, elemental attack. Eh, we'll go for physical attack actually. Elusive shield, tight shield. Uh, evasion? Sure. Hasty helm, huh? We'll go for the hasty helm. Imperial vest, or do we want elemental attack? He does have ice, so we'll do that. I guess we'll do SP. I need to give you a job. Scholar? Um, hunter? <laughs> we'll make him a dancer. <laughs> We're gonna make him a dancer. Um, equipment. Let's put... Put the soul knife on now. We want that bewildering grace. Earn skills. It's only 30, so it's not that bad. Should I learn this? Learn a new support skill. 
gain an additional 30% HP or SP when being, when being healed or restored. Interesting. Alfin the Dancer. See, always, always stray from the main path to grab those chests. Okay, we got pirates up in here? Buccaneers? Pirates or buccaneers? What are they? Buccaneers. They probably just have money, Otter. So pole arm, so that means he's not weak to swords. But he could be weak to daggers. Maybe he's weak to a dagger. Here goes nothing. I think they're weak to access because it's Alphan's story. Nope, they're not. So it's not a stave. Did I already try a dagger? I think I did. Bring it on. Who knows what awaits? Look at that dancing animation for Alton. Shit. Oh, he's confused. Oh, they all died. I didn't steal. I wanted to see what they had. A neat little cave. Looks really cool. Ruinous dust. Do 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 do. Ooh. Some new snails we got here. Arrows and wind. Here we go. Weak to axes too. My turn. Battle is truly chosen. Sword. These guys are weak to either dark or light. Oh, oh nice. We got that lightning down. weakness. But we tried Here daggers, we, we tried axes. Who knows what awaits? That's the big idea. Jesus. The ground explodes. <laughs> Alright, you're down. Pole arms. Nope. You got nothing. Not weak to swords either. What's the big idea? Wine too. Staves? I'm miss, I am blind. Ah, I'm silenced too. Uh, are you blind? No, you're not blind, so. Arrows? Are you only weak to magic? Oh my god, you might only be weak to magic. Oh, 
I want to steal. So I'm not killing it. Out of my way. No, I haven't. I'm trying to see it though. Death to you all. I wanted to steal from him really badly, okay? That's why I didn't want to kill him. Ooh, secret hidden path. Fuck. How do I... What? There's definitely a hidden path here. Why can't... Oh, okay, okay. I just have to go forward a little bit. Spiked armor. Physical defense? Just physical defense? Oh, whoa, this was a, a crazy little Come detour on, there. Take us right back to, to the do. beginning. Do, 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 I think they're weak to wind. The wind to force. Yes, they are. So that means they're weak to daggers, swords, no. full arms. Full arm. Remember the order. Think dagger, hit dagger. Remember the order. Sword, dagger, axe. Or no, sword, dagger, full arm, axe, bow. And then magic. 74%, let's do it. Curious Bloom. Alright, we're gonna destroy you guys. I don't think these guys are really worth stealing from. They got nothing useful. Out of war. Curious Bloom. All right, back to the main road we go. There's the save point. Oh, are we gonna fight Vanessa? Now to harvest. Uh, now myself. to harvest myself some glowworm moss. Can't keep my well-paying patients waiting. We're gonna waiting. be quiet during the talking. Thing. Oh, to think this moss would bring me a king's ransom. Who'd have known this job could be so profitable? Howdy, Vanessa. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> so you sniffed out my supply, huh? Well, you're not as stupid as you look. That medicine you gave the townspeople for their fevers was brewed from Gabora Evergreen, wasn't it? <laughs> that was your plan all along. To induce the side effects so you could sell the remedy at a premium. <laughs> you catch on quick. I travel the land selling my potions and salves for more leaves than you'll see in a lifetime. What do lay folk know of illnesses and their cures? Nothing. That's what makes this job so easy. If it weren't for rival apothecaries like you. What happened to your sworn duty to ease suffering? <laughs> Here's some advice, little puppy. Don't trust anything you can get for free. A stately mansion. Lavish dresses, fine wine. Why shouldn't everything I want be mine? You're free to have what you want, but I won't let you deceive the weak and vulnerable to get it. Using your knowledge to inflict pain for profit? 
You're a disgrace to our profession. Doesn't it make you feel anything to see people suffer? <laughs> Should it? The ailing, the injured, they're tools to an end. Just like the little kittens I test my tonics on. They bring me leaves by the bucket. And when they've outlived their usefulness, they die. Do you cry when you toss away a broken flask? Well then, why should I? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, there's no cure for a rotten heart. The one who laughs at their own jokes. Never trust them. Oh, so you don't care for my philosophy. Perhaps you'd care to die instead. Hmm? My ample wealth has allowed me to secure good insurance. You're a threat to my business, and you don't seem like the type to go home quietly. Or the type to keep your mouth shut, even if you did. You're God's damn right I won't. On the contrary, I'm gonna brew a remedy and help those people. Not for profit, but because easing people's suffering is what I do. How noble. But here's my diagnosis. That shabby sense of justice will prove Yo, fatal. Alpin's got friends, man. He's got Sir Ulbrich on his side, man. <laughs> this should be fun. Oh. Man, the sprite work in this game is awesome. Alright. What are you weak to? Let us, uh, okay, so swords, okay, that does not help at all. Arrows. Sword, dagger, polearm, axe, arrow. So the other two is magic. Yes, sir, old brick. Um, uh, maybe wind? Oh my god, we are very, very weak. We are low on HP. They're not weak to win. Here we go. That'll do her. My turn. They're not weak to win, so we're just gonna attack you with the sword. Now, what next? All right, let's see. What are you weak to? Fire, ice, lightning. Oh, she's weak to fire. Oh, and wind. It's just not breaking her, but it, it, it reveals her weaknesses. Okay, that's good to know. I didn't know that actually. I never really paid attention. How about you? stimulant. Oh, that's damage! Oh god, they're going first. <laughs> I can steal from these guys, good to know. Uh, we're gonna steal SP off of these guys. Even though they're not weak to knives, that's unfortunate. Are weak to ice? Ice. Ice it is. Victory shall be mine. Dun -dun. Out of my way! Out of my way! He gets. Uh, you need to heal yourself, my man. Do that too. That'll do her. Alright, don't kill Cyrus. Poison hurts in this game. Oh jeez. Victory shall be mine. You shall be, you healed. shall be healed. Out of my way. Now we're at thirty percent. Uh. 
Okay, so Cyrus goes next. And we can break... We can break one of these guys. Actually, we can break both of these guys. Should we go for a bewildering dance? Bring it on! How much health are they at? They're still at white, alright. Oh, we can do a automatic... We can get 100% steal. Oh, but we don't even need to. There's a healing. Accidental attack. No! Level one cross strike. Here goes nothing. Theory on that max BP. Gotta use some of Sedative. Alright, he's awake. Bring it on. All right, we're doing it. Alrighty. Who knows what awaits? BP depleted. No. Boost the strength. Light case cascades from above. Feels bad, chat. Fudge. Uh, he's low health anyway, so we're actually just gonna. Eighty-three percent. Come on. What's yours? The battle is truly joy. Kill him. <laughs> Explosive. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go twice. Was a little bit harder. But it's still not bad. Alright, you're down. Are dead. Vanessa is defenseless. Go. That'll do her. No. Uh, heal yourself. You shall be healed. Alright, so pole arm, what was it? Sword, dagger, pole arm, axe. Boom. Save your weak to bow. No. Bring it on! your weak to axes. Yes, you are. What is the logical course of action? You're weak to either dark or light, which I don't have, but that is okay. We can probably break you this turn. Victory! History shall be mine. We're just gonna stock up BP here. Out of my way. Uh, we are going to armor corrosive you. I see. That's fine. On this break, yeah, we're good. Here we go. That'll do her. All right, time to unleash damage. Now, what next? Now the true lesson begins. Now the true lesson begins. What can I steal off you? What do this? Yours. All of life, L. Do we go for another bewildering dance? I'm curious. Who knows what awaits? SP. Nice. Boost of strength. One more. Ground explodes. That's nothing. That's fine. The battle, the battle is, is truly joy. joy. My blade is unbending. 
5.8. That's a lot of damage. Oh, we can break her again. He's easy. Easy game. Easy game. So, my sir here. So you're gonna gain. Okay, yeah, you'll be at 3 BP. Here you go. Because we're not. You, you don't deplete. Bring you will gain BP if you uh, if you don't use BP. If you do use BP on a turn, then the next turn you will not gain BP. Oh, this poison's gonna kill me. I'm actually just gonna rest. What is the logical course of action? Uh, we're gonna go for a regular cross strike and then we're gonna go for a really big damaging cross strike. My focus is unparalleled. All right. I have Lion Dance here. Lion Dance! We're gonna armor corrosive you. I see. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh. Victory shot Having Ulbrich last is really good. 5.9. Each battle, I grow strong. Ugh. I paid good coin. Um, I've alerted the guards. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn yourself in. Alright, you've got me. I repent. I repent. She's gonna, she's gonna dip. Hmm. Bust out your escape route already? Not as naive as I look. Now listen here. I brought a special treat just for you. This isn't good. Now then. Lumberthorn, the most powerful sleep-inducing stuff substance in the world. One prick, and the next thing you know, you'll be waking up on a dungeon floor. Maybe one day you can start over Get as it? a real apothecary if they ever let you out. Ugh. Stupid naive. Now I'll keep her quiet until the guards come. I'll just help myself to some of this moss. That'll right. do her. Hold tight, Flynn. I'm on my way. I don't know why, but I really like Alfin's story, even though it's not very, like, exciting. No. What do you intend to do about that woman? Nessa, I reckon I'll let her stew and gowl and ponder all she's done. Gowl or no, she doesn't strike me as a type to turn introspective. Maybe, maybe not, but I figure she's tossing and turning something fierce right about now. You mean? The Slumberthorn has other effects, less well known. It can prick a person's conscience, for example. If there's something in your heart you'd rather avoid, it'll come out deep instead. As a nightmare. That's right. How she'll deal with that when she wakes up is up to her. But I warrant she is having second thoughts about what she did. Hope so. I, my sake? Just be careful. Right. That was cool. Deep banter. Travel banter. Alright, I'm here to help. <sighs> Feeling now. Um. Better. Oh my! My throat, it doesn't hurt anymore. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> save my daughter's life. How can I ever? How can I even begin to pay you? On the house, the moss didn't cost me anything after all. How could I have been so wrong? You were the true apothecary. Pray forgive my rudeness earlier, good sir. No skin off my nose. Your girl's healthy again, and that's all that matters to me. Thanks. Be safe here. There are other people out there who need this medicine. Once I've done my job and everyone in Gold Chiro is hale and hearty, time to hit the road again. <gasps> See ya. Until we meet again. See ya. Hey, thanks. Now then. Where out there is someone in need of a fixer-upper? Falcon! Oh, Ellen! Flynn! Aw, oh, we were trying to surprise you! You're already looking 100%, ain't you, Flynn? But what's this? Have you two been rolling around in the dirt all day? <laughs> These are for you! Wowzers! Seashells! And scores of them! We found them together! Flynn and me! Thank you for helping us, Elfin! Take care, okay? Shucks. We found as many as we could. We know you're poor. <laughs> Is this going to be enough? I reckon it'll keep me fed for a while. You didn't have to. You all take care of your mother now, you hear? need a good cry from time to time. Stay healthy for me, will ya? You too, Alvin. You... <laughs> too! Now you're crying too! my hero an unreachable ideal but heck if I ain't getting closer by the day and so ends chapter two Saints bridge in the Riverland Why are you going all the way back now? What the heck? Like, you you were all the way here, and then you traveled all, all the way across the realm to Gold Shrine. Now we're going all the way back to Saints Creek. What the heck? Why not? Level 32? Wow, that's really well. Or... Okay. 
This is also 40 and 20. 36. Yeah, I guess I'll do alpha. Low battery, okay, I get it. Well, we finished two chapters today. I think that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna end the stream. Two and a half hour stream. To play some more chapter twos tomorrow.